Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a large language model app with Langchain and Dash. Now this language model app is kind of cool because it takes the instructions from the human user and it takes a video a link, whichever video on YouTube you want to give it, and it will automatically summarize the video based on the script of the, the transcript of the video and the user's instructions. So this video is about LabNet, it's about, I don't know, four or five minutes long, but instead of watching the whole video, I just said, hey, large language model, uh, GPT, OpenAI 4.0, um, how do I make LabNet? So it, take, it looks at the script and it gives me all these five steps that um, the creator of the video uh, talks about uh, within the video. But this is, you know, just a short video. What if you have a long video that's like an hour long and you don't necessarily have the time to watch a one hour video, right? And you want to know what the basic elements of the video are. So you can just use this app like this. This is a video about Bitcoin. What are the main points of Bitcoin talked about in the video? And then it will share uh, the main points throughout the video. So it's a great app to have, especially if um, you, you're interested in learning about a certain topic. Maybe you want to learn about uh, a different uh, programming language like Python or, or, or JavaScript or something very specific and technical, and you don't have time or you're not sure which video to watch. There's a 45 minute video or a two hour video. Well, you can ask this large language model to just summarize the video for you, and maybe you don't have to watch it, or you can choose that specific video from all the 10 that you fed into it and now you know you can watch that video that is the best one from all the other ones that you were going to watch. So it's a big life, uh, life. it's a big time saver. So how do we build this video? I'm going to add the code to um, the Charming Data platform, um, but regardless uh, of the code, I highly recommend and would love for you to join the Charming Data platform. It's free, it's public, it's open, it's for everybody. This is really a place where we come together as a community and we work on monthly projects together. These projects are Python, data visualization, and AI large language model projects. And the goal of these projects is for you to build your uh, career uh, portfolio of all these apps and projects that you are um, that you are learning and building together. All right. So back to the app and back to the code. So how do we do this? The first thing you want to do right here, it's only about 50 lines of code, 55 lines of code. In the first section, we're just importing the libraries, right? All these libraries are going to be used inside our app. Then we are going to find our the path for our env file, which is right here. And in our .env file, we have this line of uh, uh, script inside of it. And I inserted my own OpenAI token and we are using this to grab our OpenAI API key. Once we have our API key, now we can use chat OpenAI and this GPT-40 model. And this is going to be our large language model. Then we're going to prompt the system. Then we're going to prompt the large language model, like prepare like the brain, right? We're going to say, you're an expert at summarizing video transcripts to help others understand the value of the video. And we're going to give it a video link. Follow the instructions of the user, of the human. And then the human input is going to be right here. So we're going to have two variables, the video link and the input. When we invoke the chain, when we invoke the large language model, we're going to have to feed it these two variables. And then we um, put everything in one chain, the prompt, the large language model, the output parser, which is really just saying output the, the show the output in a, in a string format. And then we have our dash layout, you know, the title, the subtitle, as you can see here, the title, the subtitle, the text area, the input field for the YouTube video right here, text area, the input field, a button, and the markdown here is where we are going to show the result, like right here. All right, so the, the, the callback is where all this magic happens, right? In the callback, I'm taking three types of inputs, right? The end clicks of my button, the value of human input and the value of video link. And if you, and these are the, these are the, uh, the underscore represents the, the end clicks, human message and video link is the last one. 
And so these these things, the video link represents this one, the value of video links is right here. This is the video link. So whatever I put in here is going to be inside here. And then we have our human message, which is from the text area, right? This is a human message. So we're going to grab these three things. And because only this is the input, only this is going to activate the callback function. I can change these two, but nothing will happen to the callback function. Only when I click the button, the callback function will be activated and executed. So first we're going to say if the human message, right, this value, the human message right here, if this is empty, there's nothing in there, then don't update, like don't do anything for the callback. Or even if the video link is empty, it's none, or the video link uh, link has is an is a uh, empty string, then just don't update anything. We want both of these to have content in them before the large language model um, is executed. The callback is executed, and the large language model uh, gives us a result. So this is right the section what we're talking about. We're going to use the YouTube loader module that we imported right here from Langchain Community, which loads documentation into our app large language model. We're going to load the video link. Remember, the video link is what we grab from this value right here, which is our video link. So we're going to take this is any YouTube link, right? We're going to take the YouTube link. We're going to load it like a document loader into our large language model. And then we're going to spit out the transcript, which is the page content. You can get more information. You can get the title. This, this was the last title, how to make Labine. Um, you can take uh, you can take different different types of titles. You can take published date. And you can get the author, the, the length, and the view count. So you can get a lot of information if you want. We just want the page content, which is the transcript of the video. Now we have everything that we need to invoke our chain. So we're going to feed into the video link. We're going to feed right here the video link. We're going to feed it the transcript like that. And in the input, we're going to feed it the human message, which is this one right here. And then we have a response that we spit out. We're returning this response to the children property of our markdown. So this is why it's returned in a markdown format. And that is it. Give it a shot. Just copy this code uh, to your own computer. Make sure you create your ENV file and insert your own API key. And this app should work for you if you have all the correct libraries installed. Let me know how it goes for you. I hope you can use this app to summarize a one hour, two hour, three hour videos. Um, it's really, really helpful in saving you some time. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, join me on Charming Data to do, uh, to do projects together, and always remember we're better together, so help each other out.